Hi guys! So I know this video could be kind of controversial based on uh, how you feel about this and that we're always trying to get up in ours, but I just wanted to talk about something that happened to me today because it's happened before and like I'm just, I'm tired and I just, I want to share. So I scheduled with a lady I found on Instagram to help braid my hair for the first time. Um, it's not my first time braiding my hair, like I've been braiding my hair since I was young, but my first time using her because I'd been seeing her work for months and her price was cheaper than the lady who I usually go to and so I thought I wanted to try it out. I know famous last words shouldn't do it, don't cheat on your hairstylist, but I did. and. <laughs> Well, originally when I actually scheduled to go with her, I scheduled in December to meet, to have an appointment with her on January 25th, I think. And then the day of the 25th, I completely forgot the appointment because it had been like almost two months. So um, I called her the day up and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, of course it was before the appointment. So it's not like completely last minute, but like, I was like, I... I completely forgot the appointment and this lady is like an hour away so even if I left my house right then I would have been significantly late and I just feel like it's really mean it's rude like I didn't want to like lead her on so I immediately called to ask if we could reschedule and I guess she was like yeah you know some first time client you know and she was supposed to of course remind me the day before she said in the instructions I will call or text you to remind you and confirm your appointment the day before which would have been great, you know, when you make an appointment two months in advance. So, so she rescheduled me for February 10th, which was fine. And that was today. Um, it kind of sucked because I had to take the day off of work, which is horrible. You know, I'm losing money. I'm not making money and I'm spending money. And to me, that makes no logical sense, but I really wanted to do my hair. Um, I'm back in school and it just it takes a long time to deal with your hair when you're natural or to even get it braided down and do wigs it just it just irritates me so i was like i'm just gonna braid my hair down so i don't have to worry about it for a while so appointment is at 8 30 so i text her hey i'm on my way i'll be there soon i get there at 8 25 i text her and ask her where to park and she's like just park wherever like just not someone's spot so i was like okay so i park and i get to her place this is now 8 27 so i'm still a little early so i'm like i'm feeling good i'm like okay i've made up for being like late before i'm not gonna waste your time because originally she told me i could come at nine and i was like hella early and she's like oh no 8 30 is even better so i was like okay great so i get in and i'm excited because like i don't do my hair often because i generally have pretty bad experiences with getting my hair done so i was like oh i'll just um uh, <laughs> i'll really like go for it like want this to be an experience like this is gonna cost me one a ton of money so i should make it worth it um and i'm missing work for this so it's kind of like yay a day off like i might as well like enjoy myself so i so she comes to the door she lets me in and i'm like oh hey good morning hi like i wanted to like introduce myself like hey i'm michelle you know it's nice to meet you and she skipped over all of that even though i'm like a first time client i've never met this lady before she just like looked at me and I don't know why she looked, like the way she looked at me, you would have thought that I just like, I don't know, like I hit her or I spit at her. Like she looked at me like, oh, you? Like I'm just like very confused because we've, we've never met before. The only conver uh, conversation we've had is me giving her a deposit for this hair, me rescheduling with her on the phone that one time and me texting her this morning to let her know I was on my way. That's it. Like I don't... I don't know what could have upset her. I was like, maybe she's just not a morning person. I'm not a morning person. You know, that's fine. It's totally fine. So we go and she tells me, um, can you take off your shoes? And I was like, yeah, of course. I mean, I was going to anyways because it's a habit. Like if you see, like really if I walk into anyone's house, I'm already taking off my shoes and they're usually like, oh no, it's fine, whatever. But like definitely if they have carpet, I'm definitely taking my shoes off because that's nasty. But she was just like, he took off his shoes and I was like, oh yeah, of course. And so I'm taking off my shoes and like she has a, a chair ready 
and like it's just like in her living room like the chair and then like she has a tv set up and then like two couches and i was like she's like go ahead and have a seat and so i have a seat and i hand her the bag of hair um i had talked to her um on saturday about what hair she wanted me to bring because a lot of styles have a hair brand they prefer whatever and she had this one that my beauty supply store by me didn't sell and so i wanted to go and get um russ Af Rasta Afri or whatever that's the hair that I usually use I've always used it and keep in mind, I've been having my hair braided for over 20 years so I'm um, like that I was like is it okay if I just bring this plus I saw this really cool color and I was like you know I want to bring this color and she's like yeah that's fine just if you're gonna bring that hair to so the one that I asked you to bring make sure you bring at least 10 to 11 packs and I was like okay cool um so I bought 10 packs like I felt like 10 packs was plenty um, because usually when I get my hair done, I use eight to nine packs of hairs. I was like, 10 is usually just in case. So I, I give her the hair, she looks at it and she's like, oh no, I'm like, what? And she's like, I didn't know that you were bringing this ombre hair. And I was like, yeah, what's wrong? And she's like, um, these hair packs are thinner. So I don't know if you're gonna have a, have enough hair in here to do your whole head. And I was like, oh crap so I might have to go get more hair she's like yeah I was like okay you know that's fine like it's it's inconvenient but like you know obviously we're gonna see what happens because like people say that like I've had a lot of people braid my hair over the years and they say oh you know you got a big head a thick head you know this not, might not be enough hair blah blah like just start messing around or whatever and then somehow at the end we end up finishing the hair and they're able to just space it better like if you know you're gonna be on hair short in hair you have the option to like instead of doing the full thing cut each pack in half and then just do a shorter length which honestly i prefer and that's was my original intention like not that this isn't beautiful but i just it's gonna hurt my head but we're gonna we'll get past it we're gonna get there okay i'm getting too ahead of myself so i told her i was like um i guess i'll go get some more hair later and she's like okay so i sit down and she starts like you know getting this stuff ready setting herself up and she has the tv on for me to watch and i was like okay cool and so i'm thinking that we're gonna have that normal stylist small talk you know and none of that is happening and i'm like okay cool because honestly i don't like small talk i'm fine to just sit here and be quiet and be on instagram and stuff so i'm like you know it's cool i'm just not gonna say much anything i'm just watching the tv like laughing because we we're watching netflix and <sighs> this is where it all started to go south so she gets into my hair of course you know you're gonna go do your hair you come with your hair um already washed and dried i know that might be a little weird if you're not um black but for some reason, black hairstylists, this one will get a little controver controversial, but black hairstylists like for you to come with literally half the work done already. They want your hair washed, dried, detangled, blown out. Some of them want you to flat on it. Some of them want you to already relax your hair or they won't touch it, which to me is crazy. Now, for some context, I'm Nigerian and i've grown up having my hair done for years by family members and aunties and stuff and it wasn't until i started approaching non-africans to do my hair that i started getting these demands that i didn't understand because it just sounds a little crazy to ask someone who's just like you like we're both african-american we have the same hair why are you punishing me for having thick hair natural hair the way the hair grows out of my head like i'll come washed so we can skip that part but i don't feel like it should be a requirement um i feel like if i'm paying you hundreds of dollars to do my hair you should be willing to do the hair like when i go to a salon in nigeria I could come up there looking like a bum, hair dirty, hasn't been cleaned in months or whatever, and it'll be a whole thing, just like if any nice little, every other, any other race, you walk into any hair salon and you expect them to make you feel amazing by taking your hair from whatever drab state it's in. They're going to wash, condition, deep condition, trim, highlight, blow dry style, the whole works. So why when I come in, when I go to a black hairstylist, do I have to do the most? But 
that's what I thought. I didn't even get to the point where I said what I actually did do. So I know I have thick hair and it's actually made me extremely insecure for years because I've always had black hairstylists. I'm gonna just say it. Black hairstylists say something about it. I don't understand why. When did having thick hair become a problem? But it, it has. Like they're just like, ooh, you got a lot of hair. I'm like, yeah, I know. And so to avoid this, like I, I get really anxious. Not everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, here we go, another person saying anxiety. No. I take actual medication for anxiety. It's an actual diagnosed thing called my psychiatrist. So in preparation for this, I was like reading her Instagram and she just has all these posts like saying things like, if you're this late, you're gonna have to pay this fee. Don't come to my place without your hair all the way blown out and all this stuff. And I already know I have like really thick, really coarse, really tightly wound forcey hair. Like this is African hair. And so I was just like, I decided to do something that I never do, which was texturize my hair. I know the natural hair community is screaming. I'm screaming. I haven't had any sort of chemicals in my hair for seven years. Actually, damn, it's longer than that. It's been nine years. It's nine years since I had last done that. And I just decided, like, because I wanted her to have a better time and I didn't want to deal with someone calling my hair thick or coarse or anything like that, I was like, you know, I'm just going to texturize it. So I texturized my hair to make the curls a lot looser which they were so when i washed my hair and blow dried it last night and i even re-wet it and blow dried it again this morning because i wanted to be sure i was going to get as straight as possible i didn't want to hear nothing okay so i sat in her chair and she's looking at my hair and she's like did you even blow dry this and i'm like yes of course i did but i'm natural she's like yeah wow she said do you even have a comb like do you own a comb like I don't understand I'm like yes like I combed it out I I can't do it all like I I I I did the best I could as a client and I still feel as clients I shouldn't be forced to do all that all right like I just don't think I need to I feel like it's I shouldn't have to straighten my hair or blow dry my hair for you to braid it. I know for a fact it's not necessary. The entire point of us putting this protective style into our hair is so that we're not having to do that. Why would I do that for you? Why am I doing my hair for you to do my hair? But <laughs> she just kept going on and on about it and I was just like, at this point I was just starting to get quiet because I didn't want to even talk about it anymore. So I was just like, you know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> And so I'm just, I'm just watching the TV and trying not to let her bother me. She starts opening up my packs of hair. And this is when it really went downhill because she looks at it and she's like, yeah, this hair, this hair is real thin and it's real coarse. Like this texture, mm, I don't know. And I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, it's just, it's real difficult. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, that's the hair that I brought. I mean, I gotta come back out with the, I've never had anyone complain about this brand of hair before in 20 years. I've never had anyone make such a scene before about hair in 20 years. Like, when I say this woman would not shut up about the texture of this hair, she would not shut up about how this hair wasn't gonna go far and all this stuff. And I'm like, damn, you'd really think I hadn't called her and told her what brand of hair I was getting. But anyways, um, yeah, no, she just like the entire time, like I thought this was only going to take like maybe five hours to do because these are large braids and normally large braids take like five hours to do, you know, if you know what you're doing. And I started at 8.30 a.m. We finished at 4 p.m. So I don't know how many hours that is. Was it like eight hours? Damn, that's, that's like eight hours. Yeah, so this just took her eight hours. Um, but round it all up, let's go back, let's go back. So she's doing the hair and she's saying she's only getting two braids out of each pack of hair. Now for me, that sounded real confusing. So I'm like, how on earth is she only getting two braids out of each pack of hair? She's like, the packs are thinner. And I'm like, even if they're a little lighter, I just really don't think that two braids make sense. 
Now, I'm not seeing the back of my head. There's no mirrors or anything. All I'm seeing is a TV. So I had no idea to know that this lady was stretching it out and braiding like the entire pack of hair like into like a single braid. Like I'm just like, why would you do that? You said yourself, oh look, the hair, it is. <laughs> you don't have enough hair so common sense will tell you we need to stretch this hair right so why would you grade singly down why would you not cut the thick the packs in half like a normal human being and then braid them down that way because that's what any rational person would do but no so we're only halfway through my head and she used all 10 packs of hair and I'm already thinking like how on earth could there be 10 packs of hair in my head right now but she's like yeah and she's like so you're gonna need to go to the swap meet and get some more hair I said swap me what are you talking about she's like well where did you get this hair I was like I got it by my house like I said I live an hour away from this lady so I'm like I I can't I can't go back there she's like oh well she's like here she's like go out to the street to, go to the right then go to the left the swap me should be over there and try to get this hair over there and I'm thinking I'm like why would they have this hair to swap me like, I don't make no damn sense. Like, excuse my language, but I really wouldn't. Cause I'm just like, this hair, this ombre hair, it sounds like something that wouldn't be that easy to find. Like, I just don't see it like it would be in a swap meet. So I decided to instead go to the beauty supply store, <laughs> okay? So I went to the beauty supply store, which was like 10 minutes from her house. And sure enough, they had this hair. So I buy another six packs of hair. So we are now up to 16 packs of hair. And I get back and she's texting me. She's like, are you on your way back here? Are you on your way back? I'm like, yeah. She's like, okay, because I can't spend all this time. I have another appointment at two. And I'm like, I don't understand how that's my business. Like, I'm not the one telling you to take this time this long to braid. I'm not moving. I'm just sitting here waiting for you to finish. I have work and I was supposed to be there at one. You know, I'm like, I'm not, clearly I'm not going anymore because at this time it's already 1130. So I'm just like, Jesus. So I get back, she's still doing my hair and she's still sighing. Oh, this is, this hair is making my hair hurt, hands hurt so bad. Like it's so not, like I hate it so much. And I'm just like, put some product on the hair. That's what oil is for. Do you not know what you're doing? Of course it's dry, it's braiding hair. Like what am I missing? Like I just, and like I, at this point I'm like, I'm done with this lady. Like when I was walking back to her house after getting the six packs of hair, I was so stressed and sad by the things she had said about my hair and the hair that I bought that I was crying. I was like, no, I'm sure you ain't gonna be no little, no little cry baby, stop crying. Um, you're just gonna go and you're gonna just walk in there. We're gonna pretend like nothing's wrong. So I just walk in, sit down, let her keep doing my hair. Why two hours later did this lady say she's out of hair again? So <laughs> I'm like, you're, you need more hair. She's like, yeah, like that, those six packs of hair, like it only got me like another row. And I'm like, I'm like, so you need me to go back to the store again? She's like, yes. I was like, okay, how many more packs of hair do you think you need now? She's like, bring me another six packs. So I get back in my car, drive all the way back to the beauty supply store. And this time I bought seven packs of hair because I'll be damned if I go back. So that's another <laughs> <laughs> bro <laughs> that means i have a grand total of 22 packs of hair in my head because one pack of hair wasn't used thankfully that emergency pack of hair was actually kept as an emergency she finishes my hair come on she's still not speaking to me she keeps sighing she's been on the phone this whole time and i can hear her like talking shit like sighing like yeah, girl, her family members are walking in and out of the place. Like she, I could see her rolling her eyes. Like it's just, it's a lot. Like the attitude she was giving me, you would really think that I wasn't paying her to do my hair. Like I hadn't come here as a client paying for a service for her to make me feel beautiful. And instead I'm sitting here and I feel like actual shit like yeah so she finally finished and I was like oh thank god she's like dipping my hair in the wall in the hot water and she's like I don't think this hair is gonna dip well because I've done ombre hair before and it didn't dip well and sure enough after she's like yeah I didn't dip well I knew it wasn't gonna dip well but you know maybe you can re-dip your hair again later because I don't know and I'm just like this is fine 
I'm just like, how much do I owe you? Because remember, I already paid her a deposit, so I just owe her the rest of the balance. I already decided at this point, she does not deserve a tip. I really didn't want to leave her a single cent over, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. So I gave her a $5 tip, which to me is still kind of like an F you. Um, but I already know I will not be going back. I won't because first off, my neck hurts as hell because I got... 22 packs of hair in my head for no goddamn reason um i want you to figure out how much money i spent on braiding hair each pack cost me about five dollars and ten cents yeah because of tax so each pack cost me five dollars and ten cents you do the math i ain't got time right now um but by my calculation with the hair and what she charged me to install this hairstyle cost me over $300, which I did not budget for. I could barely afford gas to get me back here because like I said, I did not budget for that. I was expecting to pay no more than $150 today. So my budget doubled. Um, so it's my story. I'm way back, called my sister and start crying to her because I don't know why I keep getting shit hairstylists. I don't know what's wrong with our community that we think that this behavior is okay, that we think that we should treat our our fellow women like like trash, like like is my money no good to you? Like am I not worthy of a client? Like why are you acting this type of way when I've treated you with nothing but respect? I came to you. I drove an hour to you. I showed up early because I was ready. I was happy and excited to do my hair. And now I'm just pissed and sad. Like, thankfully the hair looks okay. Like I said, it's too damn long and too heavy. And my neck's gonna be broken for the next two to three months. But you know, it is what it is. And damn well, I'm gonna wear this for the next three months. For $300, you better believe I'm gonna wear this shit. I mean, I guess, let me know how y'all feel like if you've experienced something like this where a black hairstylist is just rude as hell to you for no reason and i mean they have no actual reason to be keep in mind we've never spoken before like i just it is not the first time i've had other ladies treat me the exact same way and i'm just like happy monday <laughs>